Hey guys, today we are at Tachikawa Station. Because of the accident, train was delayed and there are so many people waking over here. I was two stations away and the train was stopped for 23 minutes. Usually, it's not that crowded over here though, especially on the weekday. Sometimes it happens, so if you're visiting Japan, you gotta be careful. Tachikawa Station is located in west part of Tokyo. It's far from main part of Tokyo, such as Shinjuku, Shibuya, those places. However, Tachikawa Station itself, it's a big station. There is Starbucks, Lumine, which is a really popular department store in Japan. Yes, and also IKEA. The best part is we have a huge park here too. So right now we are over here. We will go walk and walk. Firstly, we will visit IKEA. Try to get the Halloween food. Yes, limited food. And let's check the Halloween stuff decor. Also, I'm planning to visit this either the Showa Park or this Tachikawa Lala Park. Anyways, firstly, I'm starving. Let's get the food at IKEA. Now, it's not cloudy, but it might be raining today. Hopefully, it won't be raining today though. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's the Tachikawa's character, mascot, rabbit. Heading to IKEA from Tachikawa Station, walking in the North Pedestrian Deck. Yes, this is the way. There is a Isetan 2, which is a really big shopping department store. Also, it's a big station. So many buses over there. Oh, in Isetan department store, they have the big Hokkaido festival now. And oh my goodness, look at this yakiniku and seafood. <laughs> Yummy. But today, we are going for the Halloween food at IKEA. So next time. Just walk side of the Isetan department store and follow this monorail. Yep, it is really simple. Eh? It's the pedestrian street on the weekend because of this place is closer to the residential area. There are so many families walking over here and it becomes really peaceful atmosphere. No. Oh, I didn't know there is a museum over here. Seems like now they have some special treasure exhibition. And the street of the cafes. Yep. Weekend, there are so many people, but if you come over here on the weekday, you can take a break. Seems like not that many people at the terrace seat, neither. Oh, they have soft serve and the drip coffee. The soft serve it's 500 Japanese yen, the longer one, the smaller one, 350 Japanese yen. But IKEA has the ramune soft serve with 50 Japanese yen. So if you want to save money, just wait for the IKEA. Let's do it. It's really nice street, but uh, no skateboarding. Yes, skateboarding is really strict in Japan, so you gotta be careful. You can ride on a bicycle though. Speaking of the bicycle rule in Japan, before it was really easy. You know, pretty much you could ride on the bicycle everywhere. However, recently it became more strict and super easy to get the ticket. Yes, it's changing. So if you are thinking to ride on the bike in Japan, you gotta be careful. <laughs> right on time, there is a bicycle shop. Usually in front of a bicycle shop, there is a free air. Oh, really? Here, flat tire fixing. 1,200 Japanese yen it will cost. Wow. Interesting. Well, when I was a kid, maybe, you know, because it was a kind of a long time ago, and also I was born and raised in Osaka, kind of countryside, so the flat tire only costs like 350 Japanese yen, at most like less than 500 Japanese yen. But uh, yep, inflation. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seiro. Yeah. All right, so let's keep walking. And here we go, finally we are at IKEA. It took about 10 to 15 minutes by walking. Technically, we have IKEA in Shinjuku 
also Shibuya, Harajuku, those places. But uh, it's really small IKEA. If you want to visit the real big IKEA in Japan, you have to come over to the countryside. And this is one of the place. Swedish IKEA. It's one of my favorite spots to shop. How excited! Let's go! Usually, Japanese shop center is really small. However, this place it's the American side. So whenever I come over here, I miss the States. Yep, that's the dining. But firstly, let's go check the regular floor. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's cute duck-shaped spongy. The price is 99 Japanese yen. So cute. Oh, well, my dream bucket list is living in the place with the couch. Since my apartment is too small, I always sit down on the bed. But if I had the couch in the apartment, that would be super comfy. But uh, yeah, it's too big. Usually Japanese apartment is really small, so... If you have lived in Japan, probably you understand what I mean. Oh, look at this sofa! Seems like it's regular sofa, but... Uh... Oops! <laughs> We can open it and we can place the stuff inside. Nice! How much it cost? Oh, <laughs> 122,000 Japanese yen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> oh, those chair would be good too, huh? This chair, I used to have had one when I was in the States. Oh my goodness, it's really comfy. I remember I got this with the $80, I believe, when I was in the States, but uh, right now it's 16,000 Japanese yen. So yeah, the price always increase. It's really comfy though. Oh wait, but they have the warranty for 10 years? Wow. Then, that's a good deal. Oh my goodness, look at this alarm clock. Looks really cool. The price is 1,499 Japanese yen. Huh. Interesting. What else we have? Oh, look at that. I was looking for the shell. Price is 7,999 Japanese yen. This one seems pretty good. I like the white color and I can place so many stuffs over here. One big problem of IKEA in Japan is that the, the cost 7,999 Japanese yen, which is pretty good deal. However, the cost of shipping cost 4,500 Japanese yen. Yes, the shipping fee is always expensive. So if you don't have a car, it's kind of hard to shop here, especially the big stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Yes. This one is so cute, 800 Japanese yen. It looks like so old time of Japan. I love it. Yeah, maybe I can place this to my room instead of the sunflower. Seasonal. Oh my goodness, look at this island kitchen. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, it's so nice. Hopefully, one day I can make a cooking video like this. It will be perfect. But uh, <laughs> seems like it's a long way to go though. But uh, it's one of my bucket list, so let's see. You know, life is long, so maybe yes, maybe not. <laughs> Somehow it is not popular in Japan, but uh, those kind of double sink also are well, my dream too with the disposer. Well, garbage disposal is super useful, but somehow in Japan, we only have it in the super fancy apartment. So I can never find a place with a good price with garbage disposal. Well, it is really useful. So hopefully in the future, it became a Japan's, you know, standard of the kitchen. Well, you know, the Japan has a really strict garbage system. So I don't know the reason why they don't have it. Hmm. Oh, that's the bed section. There are so many different kinds of mattresses and the bed.
Well, I had the big problem with the mattress when I moved into the new apartment. However, after I changed it to the harder one, the problem is solved. Yes, my situation, I just, you know, like the harder one. When I use the soft mattress, always, you know, my back is hard. So, yeah, if you never think about it, probably you'd better know if you like the harder mattress or softer mattress. Otherwise, you will waste money like me. So, be careful. Oh, that's the bump bed with the desk. It was one of my dreams when I was a kid. You can save the space and also this desk space. It's like a secret base, right? So yeah, I was dreaming of it. <laughs> but we always sleep not here, but here. Yes, on the floor with Hudan. <laughs> well, maybe sounds funny, but you know, Japanese culture. That's right. Oh, look at this mirror. Looks pretty nice. Well, I like it and I want to have one. <laughs> I know what you think now. You are like, wait, Orion, but you wear the pretty much same clothes every day, so why even you need a mirror? You just don't know. Outfit is really important, so we need it. <laughs> Let's keep walking. My goodness, look at this shark animal stuff. It's so cute. Ah, nice. I like it. The price is 1,999 Japanese yen. Oh, and also stitchy. Wait. <laughs> uh, maybe something a little bit different. Yep. Something different. Oh, and the husky. Well, my favorite duck. I want either golden red river, love red red river, or the husky. Wait. Oh my goodness. I found something really cool. It's the space shuttle for kids made by the carbon border. Price is 2,999 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness. If I had this when I was a kid, I would be super happy though. Yeah, I can live inside. <laughs> I didn't know Lego making collab with IKEA. Price is 2,499 Japanese yen. And finally, yes, it's time to eat. I'm starving. Let's eat. They have so many kinds of kids play too. And yes, those are the Halloween fair festival. Let's do it. Wait, oh my goodness. This salmon plate looking pretty good too. <laughs> it became a cinnamon roll though. Anyway, let's get it. Starving. Sweet, time to eat. Let's go. I am starving. Oh, those cake looking pretty good. Yep. This very, very cheesecake, 490 Japanese yen. Looks yummy. But uh, yes, today we get the Distracula apple crumble. Let's do it. Also, this zombie cake. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I want to eat salmon, but maybe next time. Oh, interesting. They have a clawfish. It's not popular in Japan. Very interesting. They have it here. Yes, so that's the one. The Halloween festival pancake. And also, oh, interesting. They have the vegetable, the new one, eating with the yogurt. That sounds interesting and price is 390 Japanese yen too. Why not? Let's try that. Hi, Azamos. Hi, Sweet. All right, let's go. So I ordered a drink too. Yes, I need a coffee too because those are all sweets. All right, seems like this is a good place. I was starving, so let's eat. Super happy finally I can eat. Oh, thought I forgot. <laughs> Come back. So first, let me start with this, the plant vegetable. There's a lemon and a yogurt sauce. This one, 
looking pretty good and healthy as well. You know, I don't want to start with the dessert from the beginning, so I think they would be perfect. So, there is a rice meatball with the yogurt sauce lemon flavor. Must be good. Somehow it's a little bit spicy, but a nice flavor of the veggies perfectly matches with this yogurt sauce, and I love it. Mm. Maybe you should have get the beer because they have a discounted beer. The price is 290 Japanese yen. However, this drink bar is only 190 Japanese yen. I can drink coffee as much as I want. You know, since we are getting the dessert, probably this would be the best option. Mm. Recently, I was eating kind of not that healthy food. So yeah, you know, sometimes my body feels like I want to eat the veggies, 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 you know, the craving for veggies. <laughs> you guys understand what I mean? How you guys have that kind of feeling? But uh, me, sometimes I have one, you know, if you eat the instant noodle every day and then on that night you feel like you want to eat the veggie, probably your body is needing for it, so that's why. And uh, maybe not much time, so that's why I ordered this. No, because it was cheap, okay? My body was looking for the veggies. Well, maybe I should have to get the regular veggie though. <laughs> That's okay. Never mind. Hmm. So it's the pancake with the blueberry sauce. Probably I need to use this on top. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks a little bit scary. I'm not sure it looks yummy or not, but uh, something interesting. Wait, it smells pretty good, though. It's a blueberry sauce. Alright, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Ah, this must be good. You know, I can feel it before I eat because of the smell. I love blueberry. And on top, I believe that's a raspberry. <laughs> I hope. Itadakimasu. I love this blueberry sauce, really nice blueberry flavor. Mm. It's red, is it the cranberry, raspberry, blueberry? Not sure, but some berry on top. <laughs> if you have an idea, please let me know. Mm. It's a little bit sour, but perfectly matches with this sweet blueberry sauce. Loving it. Well, I know that with the whipped cream will be better. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, but you know, that's a Halloween scene, so maybe that's why. But uh, as long as it tastes good, it's good. Hmm. <laughs> also, there's a Batman cookie too. I'm wondering how it tastes like. Yes, it's just a cookie. <laughs> and look at that, that's something interesting over here. Well, you know, the, according to the photo, this looks should be this over here. However, yes, in the real life. <laughs> it always happens in the McDonald's, you know, the McDonald's burger or like, you know, fast food burgers. But in IKEA too, sometimes it happens, so don't expect that much. So what is this? Oh, you know what? That's the ermo cookie. It looks like a finger and uh, I don't want to eat that much. Ew. <laughs> but I eat it anyway though. Well, you know what? Tastes good. But it looks too real so I feel kind of weird. How do you think? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't really want to eat this much. Well, it is fun, but sometimes it's too real. It's not that a good thing. And here we go. It's the cake. Itadakimasu. Oh. 
めっちゃ美味しい<笑> Yes, it's all you can drink so it's the second round of the cappuccino <sighs> Loving it Well, speaking of the Halloween in Japan, it wasn't that popular but recently it's getting more and more popular but、uh, I could kind of expect e d that because of the cosplay culture In Japan, the cosplay culture is really popular and many people love cosplay. So, the Halloween is like, a, you know, the public cosplay day for Japanese. So, yeah, you know, we love Matsuri, which means festival and the cosplay. So, the Halloween for Japanese, perfect day. <laughs> I knew it. With the super sweet stuff, the sour yogurt sauce perfectly matches. Mm. And it's the last dessert, it's blueberry cake. Oh, I'm wondering. <laughs> There's a kid's playing, and <laughs> she's so powerful and cute. <laughs> Anyways, so let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, <laughs> Well, I thought it's a blueberry cake, but it's more like an apple pie. Less sweet, but、uh, I can feel the nice apple flavor, and I'm loving it.、Hmm. The other Halloween foods were very sweet. So, yeah, at the end, we got a non that sweet food. That's perfect.、Hmm. Since like outside is not that raining, but、uh, it's getting dark already, so maybe we can skip that Showa Park and we can go to the Lala Port. Yeah. Probably more people want to see the Lala Port, right? If you want to see the Showa Park, please let me know in the comment down below. Maybe in the future video, I will show you guys how it looks like. Oh, anyways, I'm so full. <laughs> Let's keep vlogging. Now we are at product warehouse section. Whenever I come over here, I remember the Costco. Wow, it's the huge ad of the veg duck. Yes, 80 Japanese yen. And also the soft serve, 50 Japanese yen only. Seems like this place, they don't have the ramen one, they have the regular one. Ooh, luckily, it's not raining yet, but smells like really humid though. But I can smell of the rain, so probably it will be raining soon. Yeah, look at the sky. I believe so. From here to Lala Port, it's about 1.5 stations away. It's a walking distance. Yes, 15 minutes. Not that bad. Right now it's 5 25. Let's see actually how long it takes. So let's keep walking. Here we go. We are already at Takamatsu Station. Right now, 7 30. No, 5 30. So only takes five minutes. Let's keep walking. Oh, you see the building in front. Yes, that's already Lala Port. <laughs> Well, speaking of my recent favorite music, it's the dynamite of the BTS. Yes, I know, you are like, why now? <laughs> I don't know. Before, I liked this song, but now I like it more. You know, it's really fun to listen and it makes me feel like dancing. So, I really enjoy that. So, before someone talked about the dynamite, about the music, The firstly come up the song was, you know, cause I told you once, now I told you twice, we gon' light it up. It's like a dynamite. <laughs> But no! Na 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 na. Oh, there's a nursery. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a nice building. Doesn't look like Tokyo, huh? Around this place? Really peaceful. If you don't want to live in the countryside, but still you want to live in Tokyo, maybe you can live around here. And here we go, that's Tachihi Station and the Lara Port. Let's keep walking. Here, there is a nice football park and also the cinema. You have to pay money to use it though. Oh, I didn't realize until now 
but the you know the ground is wet so that means probably there were raining when I was eating in IKEA there is such a nice park in front of the Lala port. Usually there are so many kids playing around. However, I think because it was raining, there were no one. If it was slippery, it would be dangerous. Oh wait, actually, this one, not that slippery. So yeah, good for kids. There is fountain over here too, but today it's not working. Oh, interesting. There is the age limit. This place is one to three. That one over here. And this one is three to six. That one over here. And also here, three to six. This one over here. <laughs> so basically, if you are seven years old, uh, it's be like, sorry, you don't belong here. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. Well, it doesn't mean you can't play over there. It's just for the suggestion. So if you are the seven years old kids who want to play here, don't worry about it. Probably no one cares. This Lalaport, it's a nice shopping mall. Inside here, there is a supermarket. It's much fancier compared to the regular supermarket and it looks nice. What is this place? Oh, they sell bread and the bento. Now all of them are half price. Wow, what a good deal. Also, Muji and the Nitori, which is the furniture store. Oh, wait, this Nitori seems like it's a clothes store. So we are here. Seems like it's a huge shopping mall. And this is the North building. We have a different building as well. Last time when I came here, it was on the weekend, then there were so many people in here, but today seems like not that many, but don't worry about it. This place will be so, so, so packed on the weekend. So if you're planning to visit here during the weekend, eh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> and there is game center. Usually this kind of shopping mall has, you know, one, this kind of game center. There are so many claw machines. Usually, all the places look similar, but uh, they have different kinds of price. What we have in the food court? Ramen price and oh, we have Kamakura here. I didn't know that. Also, Okonomiyaki, Beef Bowl, and uh, Bikri Donkey, but food court version, smaller one. It's my favorite Hamburg steak restaurant and seafood bowl place plus udon what do we got over here <laughs> omake yokocho ah so many gashapons you can play five times with 100 japanese yen price is the cheap sweets but uh, you can enjoy the claw machine though and so many different kinds of gashapon <laughs> sweet Goodness, look at this game. It's my first time to see that. I thought that's a drum master, Taikon Tatsujin. But it seems like it's different. You can go inside and you can jump. And you can play like that. Well, seems like that's for kids though. But it seems pretty fun. There is a Luigi Mansion's ride as well. Huh. Seems scary. Oof. Oh my goodness, it's still 6 p.m. but outside gets totally dark. Yes, because of the winter is coming. <laughs> still, it's 26 degrees, really hot and humid though. The sunset time used to be 7.30 but right now it's about 5.40 and uh, during the winter time becomes 5.30. Since we don't have the summer time, which is the daylight saving time. During the winter, you have to wake up, otherwise you will waste your day. And uh, during the summertime, you can wake up slowly. You know, I always feel like we should get the summertime as well because there are so big differences between summer and winter. But, uh, you know, we love the tradition. We are not really easy to accept something new system, you know, very conservative culture so that's the reason why anyways 
Let's go back to the Tachikawa station. Probably it will be super crowded. Let me show you guys how it looks like. On the way to go back, let's use the monorail. If you use monorail, it takes 9 minutes, cost 200 Japanese yen. It's the Tachikawa Kita station, so truck number 2. Seems like it will be a packed train. And I'm ready. Usually in Tokyo, pretty much everywhere. If you are visiting and are traveling during the rush hour time, always it will be packed. So you gotta be careful, especially if you are carrying the big luggage. And here we go. Oh, seems like not that bad. Yep. Next stop is Takamatsu. It was much faster. If you were just visiting Lalaport and no IKEA, I recommend to use this monorail. Yep. Fast and easy. We arrived to Tachikawa Kita Station. Tachikawa Station. Yep. It will be kale stick. During the night time, much busier. Yep, totally different atmosphere compared to the noon time. Many stations become like this. Looks like Tokyo. Here we go, we come back to JR Tachikawa Station. And you know what? I still have an energy, maybe because I took too much sugar. Since we have energy, let's explore around Tachikawa Station a little bit. During night time, it must be interesting, so let's keep walking. Let's explore the back street. When I see those stores in the back street, I feel that Tachikawa is a big station. Usually KFC and the Matsuya, which is really popular beef ball place, like a Yoshinoya, they are in the big street. However, they have it in the back street. That means even there are people even in the back street. What else we have? It's a gyoza. Dan da dan. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, really? Those are all the people waiting for the bus. Wow. Seems like it's super crowded. How about in South Perth of Tachikawa Station? Let's go to check. Wow. Compared to the noon time, it's super crowded. South Perth of Tachikawa Station seems like it's more quiet. Still, there are many stores though. There is McDonald's, but seems like North Perth of Tachikawa Station is safer because in South Perth of Tachikawa Station, there is a pachinko store. Pachinko store. <laughs> pachinko store. Yeah, so many pachinko places. Interesting. In Japan, big city, usually like this. There is a kind of like quiet exit and also, you know, a party exit. So probably this side is more like a party exit. There is a shopping mall over here and it seems like we have no more. It will be quiet or maybe some quiet drinking place. So yeah, seems like for north part of Tachikawa Station, for families and the south part of Tachikawa Station, more for young adults. Yeah, so that's why all the you know fancy department stores such as Isetang, those places are north part of Tachikawa Station. And uh, now I understand why, yeah. <laughs> there is a cute hedgehog. <laughs> cute. Alright, so came back to the North Perth of Tachikawa Station. North Perth, more quiet, and I like the atmosphere. Yes, this coming Friday, I will get my new iPhone, and uh, I think I can set up this weekend, and uh, if it's possible, I will try to make the live stream on Sunday. Well, you know, plan is undecided, so I'm not sure if I can make it or not, but uh, if I make live stream, please join the day. I will try to make the live stream with the new iPhone. Uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, should be better quality. If you notice that, please let me know too. 
Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video and you guys enjoy the Halloween food of IKEA food. Well, to be honest, some fruits are too real. Look, too real is not that great, especially if we eat. You know what I mean, right? You know, I love the food entertainment and also the atmosphere by IKEA. I always love them. And also, hopefully, I could share the atmosphere of Tachikawa Lalaport. So, yes, new iPhone video is coming and also the Halloween adventure in the Disneyland is coming as well. Well, haven't decided either I should go to the Disneyland or Disney Sea. You know, Disneyland may be more parade, but I haven't made a video of the Disney Sea. Which one should I make? Uh, if you have an opinion, please let me know in the comment down below. Anyways, more adventures are coming, so if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button to join the adventure so that you will not miss my new video and the surprise live stream as well. And a big thank you to all of the Patreons! If you haven't, please check my Patreon account. Hopefully, virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See you no ciao! <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye. According to the weather forecast, it's raining. Supposed to be raining right now. But maybe because we are in Tachikawa, west part of Tokyo, and the uh, Urayasu, which is a Disneyland located, is in Chiba Prefecture. So yeah, it's already totally different. Probably it's raining in Disneyland. When I visit the Disneyland, I want to see the parade and also the fireworks as well. And I want to film it. So that's why I decided to go to the Disneyland in sunny days. But it seems like there are many rainy days as well. So hopefully I can find a good day. Anyways, even if I can't film in the Disneyland, I will go into the Universal Studio Japan. I'm going either one. So please look forward to it. Hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Well, <laughs> it's a little bit airy, but uh, you know, we are always excited to the future event. So <laughs> yes, let's look forward to it. Shoo.